Hello, it's Brent Schreiber, Leverage and Lean, and this is the See How video of the Macro Recorder in Excel tutorial. If you haven't used the Macro Recorder in Excel before, think of it as being the director of your own macro movie. Excel gives you the ability to capture all of your repeatable actions when recording with the Macro Recorder. You can start and stop filming, and anything captured in between is generated into VBA code that you can use at a later time. You can simply create a custom button to rerun those actions and across multiple spreadsheets. I'll show you how to do that that in this video just a quick introduction and not limit all of the things you record with the macro recorder I can show you some more tutorials at a later date if you would rather read how to be introduced to the macro recorder you can use this PDF tutorial here and if you want to see that in a bigger better view just click full screen mode here all right well I'm not going to hesitate let's navigate to Excel and I'll show you how to use the macro recorder let's navigate to the developer tab now if you've yet to enable the developer tab I do have a tutorial out there at leveragelean.com that will help you enable that and once that's enabled you will have access to the code group and you can click record macro once you click record macro you're gonna get a pop-up here where you can enter in a macro name I'm going to enter in stay awesome and you do not want to enter in any spaces because that is not allowed for macro name next thing you can do is enter in a shortcut key for this macro so simply with the combination of control plus the character you enter here you can fire this macro in the store macro and let's leave that to this workbook for now I'll explain more details on what that field means at a later date and in the description field whatever you type into here will be generated as a comment in the VBA code for the sake of typing in the video I'm just gonna leave that blank and click OK and once I click OK I am now live you can see that indicated in a couple different ways it now says stop recording where it once said record macro and in the bottom left I also have the ability to stop recording here so anything I do from this point on is being recorded by the macro recorder and being logged into the VBA code now let me just go ahead and do some things here for this macro that I can then rerun at a later date we'll put in some titles I'll make a small table with a border and also bold that top row and the last thing I'll do is I will rename that first spreadsheet and I'm going to name that stay awesome all right so now I'm going to stop recording with this button here and to access this macro you can navigate back to the developer tab simply click macros you'll see it available to rerun there or we can navigate into visual basic and you'll see that a module was created and here is where this stay awesome macro now exists and all of the code that was generated now let's actually fire this macro again let's create a custom button by navigating over to customize quick access toolbar going to more commands let's click customize ribbon and within customize ribbon I'm gonna click the custom tab I have created macros and then I'm gonna click the custom group that I have out here and now from popular commands we're gonna drop this down to macros and I'm gonna move over my stay awesome macro I just created and then I'm just gonna quickly rename this let's just go ahead and put a space in here and I'll change the title and the image and click OK so now in the macros tab I now have the macro stay awesome and I'm just gonna open a blank Excel workbook and show you what this looks like when it's rerun so I can navigate over to the macros tab click stay awesome and quickly get all of those actions done instantly so this is a quick example of what you can do with the macro recorder but not a limitation of all the things you record I'll put out some more tutorials and really show some more insights on what is all possible with that macro recorder but I absolutely want to know what you think of the introduction to the macro recorder thanks so much for watching stay awesome